You said the entirety of Syria. Um, would you agree that the district of Afrin is in Syria? The, the district, yes. If you look at a map, it is certainly within, within Syria. So, yes. then, so then when Turkey says that it is not bound by the ceasefire and is free to continue going after the Kurds there, uh, mm -hmm. would you agree that Turkey is violating the UN ceasefire? I would encourage Turkey to go back and read this resolution, the unanimously agreed upon resolution on Saturday. And I will quote some of this to you. I won't read the entire thing to you. Uh, demands that all parties cease hostilities without delay and engage immediately to ensure full and comprehensive implementation of this demand by all parties for a durable humanitarian pause for at least 30 consecutive days throughout Syria to enable the safe, unimpeded, and sustained delivery of humanitarian aid and services and medical evacuations of the critically sick and wounded in accordance with applicable international law. Hold on, let me get to that point. It affirms that the cessation of hostilities shall not apply to military operations against the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, also known as Daesh, Al-Qaeda, and Al-Nusra Front, and all other individuals, groups, undertakings, and entities associated with Al-Qaeda and ISIL and other terror groups as designated by the Security Council. So I think the resolution was clear here in naming exactly which groups are considered to be exempt from the ceasefire. Yes. Lord, uh, yes. Lord, go right ahead. Would you encourage Turkey to uh, reach some sort of ceasefire in a free? I would encourage Turkey to go and read this resolution, see what the, see what the world and the international community is saying about this. It sounds like that. If I could ask you about Masrur Barzani and, and the Iraqi issue of the airports. But Masrur Barzani is chancellor, as you know, of the Kurdistan Region Security Council is here. He met with people at the White House and in this building. He was told repeatedly the U.S. supports a strong united Kurdistan and a federal democratic Iraq. But just yesterday, the prime minister extended this ban on Kurdish airports for another three months. Do you have any comment on that? Is it consistent with your policy? I, I, it's consistent with what we've said all along, that we would encourage uh, the, Kurdish, uh, the regional government of Kurdistan and also the Iraqi government to sit down and have talks. Uh, we are, want them to resolve their remaining, differ remaining differences. Uh, they haven't done enough, certainly, to do that, to resolve those remaining differences. That we also believe that they have to swip swiftly compromise as a sign of, of good faith. So we would encourage them to sit down and have talks and figure this thing out. Are you disappointed in the renewal of this airport ban? Look, I, I think that's up for them to decide, but we have made our positions clear uh, with both the Iraqi government and the Kurds as well.